We are here today to celebrate the great manufacturing nation that we are in the UK. We face unprecedented challenges at the moment and today we have the opportunity to really hear from many political leaders from across the whole of the political divide about really how, how good manufacturing is and what we need to do to make that great for the future. Finally, we need to double down on maximising the opportunities of a net zero and sustainable economy and safeguard UK energy security, the biggest transformational issue that we face as a country. What's really great about this conference is the diversity of voices that you hear. You find that there's so much each company can learn from each other, which is why this event is so important. You know, you're sharing ideas, you're sharing problems in a way too, but you're finding solutions together. Wherever there is a story about manufacturing, they still wheel out pictures of, you know, ships coming down the slipway in Clydeside and, you know, it's historic because the narrative hasn't been developed in a way that has given them a new, compelling narrative about what you do. Why in the manifestos that we're driving towards the Conservative government, the Labour government, are we not saying, sure, Brexit's happened, right? Customs Union has nothing to do with rejoining the European Union, but at least let's get back into the Customs Union for the sake of British manufacturing. What's encouraging is that despite our varied past, everyone here is united in countering the defeatist narrative that the UK just doesn't make anything anymore. Because the exact opposite is true. We have always been and always will be a manufacturing powerhouse. AI is making headlines around the globe and it is amazing to see British industry not just responding in real time to these changes, but leading on the development of how we can harness these advantages to drive our sector forward. The whole of the manufacturing sector needs a government focused on addressing the challenges they face. And that's why we'll address the skill shortages many of you are so worried about. We'll reform the apprenticeship levy, giving you greater flexibility over how it is spent. We will establish Skills England to ensure technical excellence colleges are delivering the courses that meet the needs of your sector. Now these are minuscule, tiny improvements, but of course you go around the whole pit stop with that same level of focus and you begin to introduce considerable chunks of time. They're all small, but when you add them all together, it begins to add up. It's just wonderful to meet the manufacturing organisations in terms of every level of the companies from CEO, MDs to some of the HR managers and directors and understand what's going on with their employees and how's that impacting the organisation and what's going to help. I think it's meeting, meeting up with some old uh, friends uh, from the sector, getting a chance to network and to catch up with what, what's going on in their individual businesses and looking ahead for the future. That's been the highlight of the day.